Now, how you will present it in the lower limb? Okay, on uh, on examination of this gentleman, I found that he is having. First, I will describe the findings of inspection. Always go in sequence. Whatever you did, inspection, tone, power, reflexes, plantars, sensation, cerebellum. Okay. So then you will not forget because when in exam you the bell ring and you have finished your examination, uh, you are not allowed to see your patient again. And it's better that you do you stand by keeping your back towards the patient because examiner don't want you to have a second look at the patient after the time finishes. Okay, so we'll start like this. Start with inspection finding. On examination of this gentleman, I found that he is having distal uh, wasting of the lower limb, giving it appearance of inverted champagne bottle appearance, and uh, there is evidence of bilateral pescaves and clawing of toes. And he is having uh, lower motor neuron type of weakness, uh, which is symmetrical distally, and as evidenced by hyperreflexia, dying going plantar with foot drop. On examination of the sensory system, it is reduced distally in its mythical stalking pattern and when asked to walk, he has a high stepish gait, is ataxic and with positive rhombic sign. So on the basis of this, on the pre presence of bilateral pest cavus climb and uh, inverted champagne bottle appearance, uh, my diagnosis is patient is having hereditary motor uh, patient is having sensory and motor neuropathy which seems hereditary so the most likely diagnosis is charcot mary tooth disease okay so like this you will explain like uh, so now see first i explained this is motor and sensory neuropathy and then i defended my diagnosis why i want you to say that it is charcot mary because we cannot label every motor and sensory neuropathy as charcot mary we will say only if we will see distal wasting we, bilateral pest cavus and clawing of toes either one of it then we will know that this is a long standing disease ok and this could be only hereditary that's why so I have to defend my diagnosis first I explained that this is motor and sensory neuropathy then I defended my diagnosis of Charcot Mary by uh, relating it to pest cavus, clawing and um, wasting ok so if it comes in the upper limb so you will say that uh, on examination of this gentleman I found that he is having postural tremor of the upper limb as well as wasting of small muscles of hand and clawing of hands. If there is scar you can mention if no then no and uh, while on uh, and uh, there is evidence of lower motor neuron type of symmetrical distal, distal weakness with hyperreflexia on examination of the sensory system it is reduced distally in symmetrical glove pattern so on the basis of this my diagnosis is patient is having uh, sensory and motor neuropathy and on the basis of wasting and clawing of hands and postural tremor it seems that it, it is hereditary like it could be charcot married to disease ok so like this you have to explain it so you have to present your case uh, now there are two types of it of HSM in type 1 and type 2 type 1 is demyelinating and type 2 is axonal and there is autosomal dominant inheritance and uh, so and this also if examiner asks ok how you will manage then again you can say in the similar way that my management includes journal and specific and the journal include patient education explanation uh, of the condition and in with involvement of multidisciplinary team like uh, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, orthopedic surgeon, neurologist and specific management includes uh, medical and surgical. The medical you can say that it is neuropathy so uh, you can give some medications for neuropathy tablets and uh, the surgical if patient is having any surgical problem any contracture or any fracture or anything. Uh, then you can do and in the medical therapy you can give analgesia along with it ok and uh, in the specific as uh, in the specific surgical like uh, also supplements can be provided ankle or foot orthosis for foot drop like this or orthopedic surgeries to correct deformities and like this and how you will diagnose this and so you can say that my diagnosis is clinical uh, however, 
I can do uh, nerve conduction studies to see whether this is demyelinating or uh, degeneration type and uh, then I can do uh, EMG, electromyography, nerve biopsy and genetic testing. So like this and uh, rest you should know some of the causes for the bilateral pest cavus. only 2-3 causes uh, you should know like if examiner can ask you that okay what are the causes for other causes for the pest cavus? then here they have written many for the unilateral and bilateral for the bilateral whatever you like only 2-3 to three causes you should know like you can say phrytic ataxia, syringomyelia and muscular dystrophy ok this one mnemonic MSF you can remember MSF ok muscular dystrophy, syringomyelia and phrytic ataxia these are the causes for the bilateral pest cavus. So, this is all about Charcot Mary. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.